Greetings and welcome to another edition of Science Sunday here in our capital city at the Connecticut Science Center. With Thomas, good morning. Good morning. How's it going? Uh, doing well. Uh, so we're going to boil water today in a kind of non-traditional manner. Yeah. So normally when we boil water, we have to get the water to heat up, which is why we put it on our ovens. And we're doing this to increase the energy of the water particles in the liquid here. Um, we're doing this because we want to turn them into a gaseous form. We want them to jump up out of the liquid into the air around here. But there's a lot of air pressing down on the water already, all this air in the chamber. So we have to give it a lot of energy to get it to jump up into that gaseous form. So kind of explain like what the setup is that we're looking at. Yeah, so we've got basically a chamber in here and um, a cup of water. And this chamber is called a vacuum chamber. So what we're gonna do using this hose is we're gonna remove a bunch of the air from here. So we're gonna really dramatically lower the air pressure. Okay. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna make it so that the air is pushing down on the water less, so the liquid particles have a much easier time jumping into that gaseous state. You ready to check it out? Let's do it. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna turn on my air pump. And we should have to wait about 30 seconds or so. So what is happening right now? So right now, a whole bunch of air is getting sucked out of this tube, and the air pressure inside this container is dramatically lowering. So it's like a vacuum. Okay, and we should also point out you have a thermometer in the water, and that's for a reason. Yeah, so normally, like we said, when we boil water, we're getting it to heat up. But at this point, since we're decreasing the pressure, the temperature is actually going to stay exactly the same. And you can see in there, the temperature is right around room temperature. Yeah, so typically when we think of boiling in the cooking realm, we're getting up to 212 degrees. Yeah. But, Not the case today. Right, so this would be, if we could stick our finger in there, it would be totally safe. Good stuff. And now we're starting to see it boil, all those bubbles coming up, and some of that water is escaping into uh, gaseous form. Good stuff. So you can't cook with this? No, unfortunately you still have to heat up the food to cook, so this isn't going to help you with any <laughs> spaghetti or anything. But a, a great demonstration uh, of, of how we're changing states here by changing air pressure. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. All right. And when we turn the pump off, what happens? So the water will stop boiling. Okay. And then if we remove the seal, we can uh, set the pressure back to normal. There we go. There we go. And more. And we stayed at room temperature the whole time. Yep, the whole time. Okay, good stuff. Uh, thank you so much. Of course, we want to let folks know about something happening next weekend here at the Science Center because it's Mother's Day weekend. Yeah, so we'll be having um, free Mother's Day. Um, so moms can come in for free with uh, anybody who's purchased a ticket. Okay, great. And there's also a promotion right now to where you can save 20% on a membership. Uh, so you can learn more about that uh, through uh, ctsciencecenter.org. All right, uh, Thomas, thank you so much. And of course, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend. Okay, thank you.